Ow! <sighs> hey guys, what is going on? And welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm not having a good day right now. Ouch. Okay, so if you guys don't know, I film my videos in an attic, right? Um, this is an attic. It's not like some crazy studio or anything like that. I actually have to come up to the attic whenever I film a video. Um, I have, it is kind of like a studio, like, it's the only place in my house where I had, like, a whole, you know, a whole bunch of space for lighting and things like that, so, anyway, to come into the attic, I have one of those trap doors that pulls down, like, a, a ladder, and, um, as I was pulling down the ladder, I get my finger trapped in it, like, it got trapped right in the freaking track of where it goes, and, ouch, like, I just, oh, man, it was like a freaking piranha just bit my finger, it was, I still can't feel it like it's it just went numb and my fingernail is like turning blue so I think I'm gonna have like oh no you know when it like bleeds under the nail and you have that blue like dark brownie stain underneath <gasps> oh no I'm not looking forward to that but yeah that really really hurt like I was pulling down the ladder and you know we're like the I don't know like it's hard to explain but like you pull you lift it up, and then you flip the, the, the latch to pull the rest of it down. And as I was doing that, my fingers went between, like, because you got the back um, the back half of the ladder, and then you got the front half, which, like, they go up together, so they're like this, and then it comes down like that. My finger, like, got in, in the way of two of the, like, both ways, uh, like, the steps on this side and the steps on this side. And crunch! My finger got freaking bit. Almost ripped it right off. And my fingernail actually looks... Like, it's cracked. That's great. That's perfect. Um, but yeah, enough of that. How are you guys doing today? And uh, I wanted to uh, come on here. I don't really have a video planned, but I wanted to, like, give you guys an update and talk to you. And also, thank you, because, you know, this last three weeks has probably been, like, the hardest three weeks of my life, to be honest. And, um, you guys have been really supportive. Some of you guys have been assholes, but, you know, haters are always gonna hate. Um, you could be freaking dying of cancer, and you'd still get some hater that's like, Ha-ha, you got cancer! Like, people are just demented. People are messed up in the head. And these are the people that I actually hope, like, never find peace in their life. Um, but anyway, yeah, so a lot of you guys, the majority of you guys have been really supportive and uh, I've really needed that and I'm kind of like a closed book I don't really talk much about my feelings to other people because you know when you can see their face like you're talking to someone you can see their face and you, you, you kind of get the feeling that they're judging or they're you know I don't know it's like a, a trust problem um, but with a camera like I'm talking to a camera and I I feel comfortable like I don't feel like I'm talking to a camera I feel I know I'm talking to people who can hear me um, but I think it's because you're behind the camera that I can't see you so I feel like kind of like going to confession in a way like you, you you're talking to someone but you can't see them so you feel comfortable you feel like you can trust them um, and reading your comments have been really supportive so many of you guys I've just been like so great at this time and um, yeah I just wanted to thank you all on that and uh, the other thing is I wanted to talk to you guys about is I'm gonna try and bring back the scary videos and uh, what else I'm gonna bring back the scary videos I gotta get back in the swing of things um, maybe even find some like Christmassy ones like Christmassy scary videos and um, yeah the other thing is uh, there is not much news you know, regarding the whole, you know, Alyssa and I think, um, but it'll be okay. It's going to work out. Whatever happens, happens for the best, and it's going to be fine. Um, it's going to be fine. Uh, but yeah, I just, I really appreciate the support that you guys have given me, and um, I'm going to get back into things, try and get back into scary videos, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, it was like a, an update video. Just wanted to let you guys in on what's going on. And, yeah. I just thought, like, I seen some of your suggestions, too. And these were things that I didn't think about. And one of them was like, why don't you guys, me and Alyssa, take, um, take a vacation together. And get away from everything that's going on in New York. Like, just get away from New York for a while. 
And uh, I thought about that, and I was like, wow, that's actually a pretty good idea. Like, why don't we, you know, like, go somewhere nice together, like, go to Florida, something like that for a couple of weeks, and, you know, just get away from those real-world problems, and it'd be good for her, I know that, um, and I think it'd be good for us, too. So, um, I mentioned it to her, and just see what she thinks, um, and yeah, there's just so many suggestions that you guys have really helped with, um, like, these are things that I wouldn't have thought about. I don't know why, I just didn't think about that. But, you know, it's something that could work, so... Hey, I'm gonna give it a shot and just see. And, uh... Yeah, just, I'm, I'm worried about her. And I know I keep saying that in every video, but I am. Like, she's going through so much, and... She's a very vulnerable person. Like, I'm worried about her for that reason. Um, I just hope that she... She, she knows that I love her, and I am here for her, and she knows that you guys are here for her, too. Um, she's got a lot of people that love her, and she can't, you know, she can't just run and hide from that kind of stuff. Like, it's, it's not going to solve itself by hiding away, you know? You can't hide because you're afraid of being hurt and things like that. you got to face things sometimes. It's just you got to surround yourself with people that love you and that are going to protect you and that care about you. That's just the best way to be, and right now I do feel as though she's, she's you know, like, just shutting herself away. Like, she wants to try and maybe avoid life's problems, but she probably thinks that she's going to avoid being hurt. And I know what she, I know how she is, and I just don't want her feeling like that. So, I really do thank you for whoever it was who made that suggestion. A vacation never even crossed my mind, um, but I think it's something that, I mean, she, she loves, you know, tropical beaches and stuff like that, and it's something that we could do, like, it, it could, it could work, so, um, and to be honest, I feel like I could do with getting away, too, and, and, you know, especially this time of year, it's so crappy, like, the weather is miserable, and cold, and rainy, and dark, and it's just, like, you know, I'd, it'd be nice to go somewhere else, somewhere, like, tropical, and palm trees, beautiful blue skies, sun, the sea, the white sand, Drinking a Malibu on the beach. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd update you guys and give you a big thank you. Uh, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And I do appreciate all your support. Um, yesterday I wasn't in a good in a good mood at all. Uh, but today I'm feeling more positive. I'm feeling more like, you know, there. sometimes you forget like there's life outside of, you know, just New York kind of thing. So... Maybe that's just what we need, like, just, just take a break. Both of us, get away. Go somewhere different, you know. Just try and remind ourselves that there is life outside of New York. And we can go wherever we want, like, we could, we could do it. So, yeah. Uh, but if we do do that, <laughs> do you do? Uh, if we do do that, <laughs> I'll be sure to vlog it for you guys. I'm sure to make an awesome vlog. And to be honest, we've never been on vacation before, so that would be our first vacation. And uh, I think it'd be great. And it's like, it's our three year and five month anniversary in like seven days today, so I'm hoping she's back for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I love you all, and uh, I really appreciate the love and support you guys have given me. And, uh, you know, talking about your problems, too. I mean, it's helped me not to see that, not to see that you guys are having problems, too. Um, it, it's not like, you know, it makes me feel good that you're having problems, but it's hard to explain. But, like, I know that, you know, like in one of Zach Brown's songs, um, I'm not the only ship out on the ocean. So, it's a pretty good saying. Um, you're not the only ship out on the ocean. Save your strength for things that you can change. Forget the ones you can't. You gotta let it go. That's a pretty good song, and it's very motivational. So take that, take that, guys. The words from Zach Brown. Save your strength for the things that you can change, but forget the ones you can't change. Let it go. And I'm going to leave you on that positive note. And, uh, yeah, it's coming up to Christmas, so let's just get more Christmassy. Let's get some happy holiday freaking spirits going on in here, because I've been so doom and gloom. I, I haven't even realized that we're in December. Like, I, in fact, I realized yesterday, but I wasn't happy about it. But I, I want to be, like, I want to be happy again. 
So I'm going to be, damn it, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happy as of right now. See, I'm going to be so, I'm going to be so goddamn happy. I'll need plastic surgery to remove my goddamn smile. But yeah, thanks guys. I love you all and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out and chase your dreams. Thank you.